I'll be your dawn. And he casts a, a light spell kind of on the hood so that uh, on his own like robe so that it's coming from behind him and he's got his arms <laughs> outstretch. Five's eyes are red and puffy. Morning. Healer. Morning. Icon Icon smiles at you. <sighs> kind of a dreamy a dreamy smile, all too practiced. You all right, Fi? It comes all too easy. Can one escape oneself? Should Can not one escape, escape here. One's should not destiny. escape what you really are. We should leave the philosophy for later, says Adrian. Correct. It is a luxury we cannot afford. I must agree with the Inquisitor, says Bortha, who's trying to suck up to you guys this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I must agree with Bortha, says Otis. We should stop by his manor first. It, it would be on the way. Oh, it looks like... But we do not. Looks like somebody got paid. Uh, somebody's been talked to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to pretend like there wasn't bribery before our eyes and continue with my previous thought. If um, we give up those things which make us us, don't the demons win? Some there of the needs things to be that time make us for philosophy. Some of the things that make us us, says Hadrian, are luxuries for times of peace. This is a time of war, a time of Indeed. sacrifice. I must agree we, with Elden. There is potential in you. We but must now do it's what time we to must. sack up, is what he says. <laughs> Agreed. As he as he drags the ball of his uh, of his heavy flail off the table, you know he's he's putting his weapons on and and <sighs> brother, it will be all right. The elves have faced demons for thousands of years, for as long as the elven race has lived. This has been a threat, and yet still, we have our crafts, we have our lives, we have our laughter. We don't have victory. We have defeat. We have a stalemate at best. What do you hold, what do you hold true to yourself? What is most valuable to you? Says uh, Lion. The dog S S says Lan. Says Lan. Yeah, the dog's still woofing at a big, big guy across the table, <laughs> speaking loud. <laughs> what would you do? What would you do to protect what you value most? If someone tried to kill it, destroy it, take it, eat it. Think of that. If you have children, if you have a mate, that is what we face every day. You have the luxury of not having to deal with that. We're not supposed to be reactionary. We're supposed to get ahead of the problem. But that is war. <laughs> they sort of said they're looking meek. <laughs> war. War and combat and battle. You can plan as many things as you want. But they never go as you plan. Things just happen. The wretched one speaks the truth, says Icon. I do fear for my five children and my com the commune of Oz Solaria. I do miss the embrace of my wives and husbands. <laughs> Some of us had it better than others. <laughs> five, five <grand. laughs> that's, that's, you know. And I fear for the light of the temple. I fear very greatly. But. That does not mean that the temple does not continue on. While a few of us must trudge down in this dirty world. Fresh eyes, bite-sized problems. Mm. Let's see when this is all box. over, I shall invite all of you who still stand to Solaria to bask in the grace of a sun. 
Praise be to Pelo. Praise be to any god that'll get us out of here. <laughs> Let's see if we can open a box, shall we? Ah, yes. The box. Yes. A task, he says. Suitable for a wizard. <laughs> Adrian just grimaces at that. Yeah, I did my share yesterday. <laughs> He stands with his weapons at the ready because I think the word summoning box is, uh, <laughs> is yep. permeated around the group. Um, uh, Borth is moving this... back. <clears throat> um, Otis, <clears throat> Otis uh, at this point in time, has broken his spear shaft and is using it as kind of like a crutch. Uh, where the hell is Elden? No, oh, there he is. Open the door. Okay. The door was trapped. Um, the trap did not reset. Yeah. Detect magic on the box. There is a faint conjuration, the same conjuration aura as yesterday coming off the box. Len, it's still there. Do you want to take another shot at it? I'm standing at the top of. I'm standing on top of this, whatever that is. Uh, it's a pile of um, of blankets and um, straw mats and something kind of made into a makeshift bed. Okay. Um, there are a lot of like bottles and decanters of like already burnt candles and like it's in. Is it would it count for plus one from above? Um, no, but the desk would. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, fighting uh, fighting on the okay. makeshift furniture would probably be an acrobatics check each round, but it's it's probably low enough for. Uh... You know what? I don't really care that much. Okay. I'll just stand right here on the ground. Yes, I can take a look at it. It's right there. Um, is anyone going to buff him with like guidance or anything like that? So first you have to make the perception check, which I believe is 25 plus spell level to see the trap. Awesome. You're going to get a plus 4 because somebody is actually seeing the trap with magic and describing where it is. Okay, I'm already adding the bonus. It's right there. 26. You it's don't the see circle. the trap. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't see it. <sighs> you're trying different uh, angles. I, you're, you're, can I you're, take 20? <laughs> yes. I'll spend, like, time just like... Nope. Nope. <laughs> Okay. Like, bring what, a candle what, from the side and what, stuff. What is your take one result? My take one is, uh, with the bonus, 15. Which fails by 10 or more, which means that you take the candle and you're looking, and a bit of wax kind of drips along the side, and then it flares up in a bunch of marks, and that all begin to cascade, and the summoning spell is beginning. Let's roll initiative. <clears throat> As something, I am not as, so, as something right behind, right behind um, uh, Lan is beginning to swirl into um, into existence. Uh, you can Shame. thank one of the viewers uh, last game. Uh, they said, "Ooh, summon a demon with the trap." So um, yeah. you, you can you can thank the viewers. Okay, I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> thank you, it. viewers. Um, it's uh, it's XP. It is. I'm cool with that. <laughs> So um, that was I'm, I'm cool with it as long as I don't Lan. die. That's the Elden and Lan. There we go. Well, first I'm going to see what what can be summoned by a spell of this power. Uh, I'm going to clear lemur, the rules. Lemur, <laughs> lemur. <laughs> a lemur. <laughs> this slow, a lemur. Stupid, stupid looking mammal appears. Uh, I'm going to roll for Hadrian because I can. You get a one, Hadrian. <laughs> shit bag. Well, no, he's not a shit bag. He's a good guy. He's just he's just really rough higher and everything. <laughs> so, did you already put Phi? Yeah, you did. Okay. So icon, and I'll put. Oh, oh, oh that demon. temple is not there. That's crappy. <laughs> All right. 
it might be something with like, like the evil template on it, like yeah, a, yeah, yeah, a, a yeah, stinky yeah. bear or something. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> Grillion. It is a black scaled with red fleck snake, and I'm gonna see how big it is. Ooh, it's a snake. Ooh, <laughs> it's a snake. snake. <laughs> Leia? How are you doing, Leia? Just a little scavenger, Leia. I will make it a big yellow one. And let me see how big this thing is. It's medium. Okay. So we'll call this a fiendish constrictor. Uh, it gets a total of five on its initiative. That's not bad, Dex. It's got there. Nice Dex you got there. Yeah. All right. Uh, who's first? I, I'm not going to open the sheet for this. Uh, oh, uh, I think Phi is first. Uh, Phi got, got a 19. Then Elden, then Len. Okay, go ahead, Phi. Uh, Lion, <laughs> it looks like it's poised to attack Len, who set off the trap. Okay, uh, Phi is going to five foot step back and draw a big pointy stick okay and is he gonna he's gonna attack to aid land from getting <laughs> bit okay so uh, you see 10 and, and you get to uh land is not threatening because he's hasn't gone yet so i uh, wait a second i might be. not make it but just, let me wait a second i'll get to it it's masterwork so plus one uh, uh, you're aiding. You just need a ten, dude. I, yeah. I also have a, my, a negative strength. You know, I no, okay. No, I do have a bad. Okay, yeah. Okay. I got, it. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Probably right <laughs> How on. How bad right. are you? <laughs> <laughs> he, he's basically poking the snake, and it, it turns its head a couple of times to like, to like acknowledge the foe. Uh, okay, who's next? Uh, Elden. Elden will ready to strike. Excuse me. So is this thing a evil outsider? Are you using your smite? No, is um, that's my favorite enemy. Okay, give me. A, oh, see, see what he did there. Oh, give, give me a knowledge planes. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I, I don't know if it automatically applies or not. <laughs> it does automatically apply. Uh, knowledge. Play. The party won't tell you until after you roll. Oh, it would be important to say that I don't have that. Okay. <laughs> so you can't. He doesn't know. Religion. You don't, you religion don't know. or nature is what I can give you. All right. Um, I'm not gonna put it in. It's weird. The the fiendish template doesn't actually give you a type. Just like celestial doesn't give you a type. A celestial bear. Doesn't turn you into an angel bear. Okay. You're still a bear. Thirty-four. I think you hit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> the thing doesn't um, go I, I do five foot. Uh, sure, uh, I'll do this and then I'll five foot step back after eight. Eight damage. Um, yeah, you you hit the snake really hard and um, it's still going to attack. Uh, did okay. Lang get above five? Land get above. L yeah, land. Land, land goes before it does. Land go seventeen. Hadrian will also step in, so I think land goes then Hadrian. <clears throat> uh, no, Hadrian. Oh, Hadrian's. Uh, yeah, he rolled a one, but yeah. He, land. I think land goes first. Land's mm -hmm. got yep. a. Yeah, land then Hadrian then Snake. Okay, now can land flurry? Certainly can. <laughs> Ah. And he gets. Whack, whack, whack. Does he? And... He gets his. Um, oh, that's why I'm looking at my character. You get a plus two on the first attack, and then you get a plus two to all attacks because of the flank that you've got set up with Phi. So <laughs> plus four, and then plus twos. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I actually aided his AC against the snake. Oh, is it AC? Okay, only plus yeah, I, I picked AC, too. Okay. Uh, so, one plus two. Keep on hitting right, on the back it. of the head with, with your spear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All so right. So, finding a flank bonus. Uh, masterwork, so he will cold iron dagger. You can't flurry with your dagger. Mm, yeah. Fuck. Okay, so how many uh, attacks? Sorry, I didn't look at this. Uh, uh, I've got all the. Sorry, I mean, I can't find it. Flurry is plus six. Unarmed, plus six. here we go. Yeah. Plus six plus six. So plus. Eight plus eight. Eight plus, plus six. Eight. Plus eight plus eight. Why plus eight? Why? Flank. Ah. Hmm. Right, so 1d20 plus eight. Natural okay. 20. 1d20. Let's <laughs> confirm. I will open up the chart. Uh, natural, natural 20. 20. Natural 20. Apparently, Modron's like, don't waste our time with this stupid combat. Okay. <laughs> Go away, trap. You bother me. <laughs> right. 43. <laughs> 43 in the chart. Uh, and the second hit is 19. Uh, 17. Sorry. Okay. 17 is also a hit. Just. Uh, and then. Um, Ooh, it's a flat footed snake. If 43 is standard critical and a free unarmed attack, no way, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, on D20 plus 8. 23. So you're doing uh, times 4 damage total, like times yeah. 2 on the critical. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then there's, yeah. then there's the sneak and, attack. And 3 sneak attacks. And 3 sneak, sneak attacks. Three. So 66 sneak attack. So 66... Plus 3d6. No, 46. 46. Plus uh, 16. strength is 4. So plus 16. Plus 16. Gotcha! <laughs> 55 damage. Okay, Lan, Lan strikes out, grabs the thing's head, begins to pull... And then and then just rips the thing's mouth open. <laughs> like 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 stepped step down on the snake and just ripped it open. You're coming with us. <laughs> the, the, the thing the thing yeah, eventually is the rip. He, he kind of like he, 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 he slips a little bit because the thing just basically goes up in a puff of, of horrible smelling smoke and is gone. Fifty-five uh, damage. <laughs> 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 Uh, and and also, had you not build, rolled a twenty, um, just to help you out with the build, had you not rolled a twenty on your confirm, land does gain plus two with his unarmed attacks, I believe, to to roll. Yeah, yeah I, I remember that. <clears throat> uh, so if I will, uh, so far cast this guy's magic again to see if the spells come. Okay, yeah, you, you're seeing the faint and 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 uh, um, um, disappearing rapidly, disappearing aura of the summoning spell. Do I see any auras inside the box? Uh yes. Now that the summoning spell is gone, there is um there are auras inside the box. Hmm. Are they strong? There's a short sword in there. There's a mixture of auras. There are many things in there. No, before we even open the box, I'm telling you there's a short sword in there. I I'm telling you there's a bunch of things in there. A multitude of different auras. There's a short sword in there. Medium or small? I'm hoping it's my size. Sorry, wait, hold on. I'm hoping it's for me. So, you've, you're putting a gold on it being small. There's a small short sword in the box. What? I want to bet on it. Are you playing a game? Yes. It's called Is There a Short <laughs> Sword for a Halfling in the Box? <laughs> looks at Hadrian, I guess. Some of us have to deal with war the way we have to deal with it, I guess. Shrugs. Just get out of my way and open the, open the chest. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the Halfling's opening the box, or... or... Land. Yeah, sure. They have to. I'll go okay. open it. Get out of my way. I'm opening it up. <laughs> okay, you... No, wait. You want me to check for poison for traps? <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, he'll check for traps? 
Sure. Give me a perception check. Uh, Travis 10. Seventeen. You don't see any. The 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 large trunk has a lock on it, though. Unlock the lock. Okay, it's not a terribly complicated one. It's DC twenty. It's a simple lock. Speak for yourself. All right, twenty. I do it. <laughs> okay, gives you a bit of a like that just, and then you hear a satisfying click as Got the tumblers uh, move. You hear that? I was going to give it off. Yeah. Don't kick it. There's magic in there. Not all magic is made of metal. He look Alan Alan goes to uh Elden. Does he always speak like this? Yep. How would you you've just met me. You don't know how I speak. See what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, maybe you should stay down here. <laughs> so Elden goes to open the chest. Yep, you open the chest. There is a bundle of silver embroidered gray robes that are wrapped around something. There's a, a pile of scrolls that are all kind of like sitting on top of each other. Uh, and there is a belt that is wrapped around uh, what looked like four sticks. Close it. Nope, there's nothing here. Just kidding. No short sword, eh? Um, there's a lot of things that we need to look at. Some scrolls, um, sticks, or, I don't know, wands, or maybe? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm whoever, not hearing who, short sword. Whoever, whoever stuck the scrolls, um, actually just sort of left them out, but there's a copper engraved scroll tube that the scrolls are lying on top of. Hmm. Like, someone was looking through them and they just kind of chucked them in. <laughs> uh, auras are coming off of the scrolls. Auras are coming off the four sticks. Uh, are they wands? And then there's an aura that's coming out of what looks like the hilt of a sword wrapped up in this gray uh, in these gray robes with silver embroidery. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> the hilt of the sword looks too big, though. Oh! Oh! Oh, he maybe might. Oh, oh. Maybe it's broken. <laughs> Slip trip and it got big. <laughs> oh. uh, I suppose. Yeah, El it's Elden's reasonable, gonna, actually. Elden's grabbing, going for the hilt. Okay. Elden, you. This feels right as you go for the. And you grab the hilt and you pull out of the bundle of gray robes. It's actually heavy and too large for you. It is a. Uh, let me see. It is a beautiful golden longsword of obviously superior craftsmanship, and it radiates light like a torch. Are you a paladin? Sir, yes, sir. What is the favored weapon of your god? Longsword that is too big for me. <laughs> um, let of me look Arverine, at... Of the defender of halfling folk, and goodness in law. <laughs> Wait a sec, your long sword would be a short sword. Yeah. For a normal dude. Arvorine. What is your weapon, Arvorine? Uh, I put it on your character sheet underneath your deity. Oh, I'm sorry. My paladin's god's favorite weapon uh, is a pick or a bite pack. Did you recently do it? <laughs> favored. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> <laughs> Short sword. Okay. And your small size? Yeah. All right. You immediately understand one of the special powers of this blade. In the hands of a paladin, it resizes to match not only the paladin's size, but as well as the paladin deity's favorite weapon. <sighs> the golden the golden bladed sword begins to shrink both in its handle and in its length until it's now a small short sword in the hands of, in in the hands of uh of Elden. I'm pretty certain I caught you on a technicality here. Uh, <laughs> told you it was a short sword. I told you it was a box. short sword. <laughs> long sword in the box. It's not the size that counts. It's how you use it. <laughs> it did get shorter. 
<laughs> okay, and Vi was 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 uh, concentrating while he was laughing on this on magic, and it's giving <laughs> off approximately the same amount of magic as a plus one blade. Plus this resizing, you're seeing like the aura from like I believe it's enchantment. Uh, there is a weird no, transmutation transient there. transmutation aura on that. Is there a, is there a thing I can grab? Details of this thing that I can grab from somewhere? Uh, well, you haven't learned all the details yet. Okay. Okay, I, I can I think... activate it for light? Uh, yes, so you look at it and it's it's giving off a little bit of light, but you um, there There's is some there may be a command word that you might need to know. Uh, light. No, it's not light. Light he's he's, he's trying. Yes, uh, says I Torch <laughs> Uh there's this blade allows me to cast light. You, you do realize there are wizards who make accidents, and some who make accidents on purpose, that create items that could kill, maim, or otherwise harm wielders who don't know what they're doing. Hadrian's looking at the... Yaniel's sword. He's looking at the letter. Uh, knowledge. <laughs> uh, knowledge religion, knowledge local. Knowledge planes, maybe? Religion, local, planes, uh, 23, 28, 22. I'll do religion. <laughs> 13. <laughs> so 28 here, Adam. I will send you some lore and you can tell us about Yaniel's sword. The name of the sword you also know. Demon Slayer's weapon, um, old Paladin's weapon. Uh, it said that it went dark. Actually, um, maybe it needs a, a Paladin's touch to to bring it to life. Maybe it's back again. Um, it's been missing. Um, it's been missing, and it was suspected that it was stolen by members of the uh, Ivory Labyrinth. We could be so. If I kind of sighs for a moment, won't have to worry about them right now, because I killed them all. Um, it. Well, it's a radiant sword called Radiance. Um, Splendid, says Icon. What a beautiful name for a sword. Yes. Uh, yeah, it slays demons. And despite its look, it's actually made of cold iron. And what Typically was your knowledge more, arcana? Uh, knowledge arcana was 23. Uh, if you use that in a fight, it will bond to you. It will make an attachment to your spirit, I suppose. Then I shall. Assuming your spirit was strong enough. Right now I see a pip speak with a big mouth and a long pole. <laughs> and slings that fire true enough. You know, in some places they use those slings for, for underwear as a like a jock sport. You just kind of wedge it up there, hold everything in place. You you have children, you said, in your home? <laughs> but like many, <laughs> many, detect many, many children. Detect, detect evil. <laughs> Many, many children. He's not evil. There is no evil coming from that direction. <laughs> Perhaps there is much, much. You can many children me. in I, my I home. Would, much I would chalk at. this up to stupidity, but Hadrian flinched at that though. 
Adrian flinched? Yep. Elden noticed that you didn't. Oh. Wait, flinched at what? The comment or my detective? No, you're at, at the suddenness of the detect evil. Oh. And he's not in my thing, right? Yeah, he is. Look at the map. Oh, did any did anything come he's up? He's right beside me. Nothing came up from either no, of them, right? No, nothing came up. Okay. <laughs> All right. But he flinched. Uh, so, if you can prove that you have a spirit strong enough to have tales sung about you and this paladin sword likes you enough, then... So this sword serves Avarine, says uh, Hadrian. <sighs> Yaniel was a was a paladin of um, give me a knowledge religion. Uh, Twenty nine of Heronius, like the main lawful good god in this region. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, it no, it wouldn't be Avarine. It would be somebody. Heronius would have been the last one. Heronius has longsword as its favorite as his favorite weapon. Yep. Um, and Yaniel was obviously. Not small as it was a long sword before. Um, the spirit of the blade might be attracted to those who crusade to do good more so than those who are of one specific flavor of good. Yeah. Then let my deeds. Then let. Then let the. Then let the spirit and the sword judge me by the deeds and my actions. He sheathes it. He puts it, I guess, between like. Huh, I have to make a sheath for this. <laughs> <laughs> what oh. makes you think a. If a sword was judging you, I assume it would prefer violence. It's a sword, I mean. It could be a walking stick. But why you use the sword? How you use the sword? I suppose it's not a sword right now, it's a dagger. Daggers are. Yeah kind of like cooking utensils. You could use it to cut some ham. And your spells. H H you, could use them, you could use them to start a fire. With or you could use them. Mockery and he's <laughs> walking over. You, you, you can, and with your fire, you icon. can use them to start a cook, a cookout. Oh, or you can just cook some living creatures. No, no. Cookout. Much better. Um... Or the, uh... It's all based on intent and why you do things that you do. He walks out. I got the smart one! <laughs> got him! <laughs> <He's>, yeah. <laughs> hey, it's you, uh, one sec. Okay. Go. Take a look at the rest. One sec. <sighs> so, oh, yeah, I'm the, assuming the, rest the, of the four stuff. sticks were wands. Yeah. Um, so there's some scrolls to... and, like, uh, Something? I'm going to put the sheet for Radiance um, okay. in party pages. And then the stuff. Um, what are your spellcrafts to identify scrolls? Do you prepare read magic? Um, uh... I said I was going to prepare it last time we had this question, and I didn't this morning, so obviously, I guess I didn't. I didn't prepare Read Magic. I will check them in the morning <laughs> when right. the case is solved. <laughs> <laughs> All right, party pages, loot. I'm just going to put a bunch of scrolls down. You don't know what they are yet. <laughs> okay. And then uh, are you identifying the wands? Yeah. Okay. There's a wand of mount, a wand of true strike, a wand of expeditious retreat, and a wand of shield. And the gray robes with the silver embroidery look suspiciously like wizard robes. <clears throat> uh, do they radiate magic? Uh, the robes? No. They are of quality to magic, though. They were used they to have... wrap up the, the, the sword. Do they have a sigil? Um... The embroidery, not not especially. They just look like really nice robes. Was a wizard killed in the theft? Uh, perception check. Fifteen. 
fitting. There is a blood stain in the back of the wizard robes. And you do see a small hole surrounding, like, at the center of the blood stain. Huh. Dead man's robes. He slew a wizard. Lovely. They're horrible. Right. They, you're, you're getting the sense yeah. that these are arcane um, um, spells. Like the Inquisitor of the Ivory yeah. Labyrinth. Or the Templar of the Ivory Labyrinth had no use for this stuff. Just a bunch of wizard gear. Or didn't yeah. know how to use it, right? Um, yeah. You get the sense that if <sighs> the Holy Sword was in here and the, and the, and the, the letter was actually talking about um, corrupting the blade. Yeah. Maybe they were using it to stab people. This is a good wizard. They stabbed well, him with it. Well, it actually, the letter said, bring it with you when you come. Yeah. If you want to reread the letter. The letter has been placed in other documents. So. Nice. Excellent news uh, regarding the salvage of Yaniel's sword. We will corrupt it. Yeah. Dog slave. Yeah, half the party. So this is a side campaign, Kenny. Um, uh, John is busy with life stuff for the next little while, like month or so. Um, so basically, in order to keep this campaign going, we're, we're doing a trick that we did, we've done many times before, where I let each of the players run two PCs. So uh, uh, Ahmed really liked land because Ahmed really likes um, uh, monks. Monks go monks, <laughs> and then and then Adam 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 second character we haven't introduced yet. He'll be found a little bit later. So uh, Ahmed's running Eldon and Lan. Ahmed or Adam's running uh, Fi, and you'll meet Venteran a little bit, and then Icon is kind of uh, hard to get rid of once he's once he's with you. Once he likes you. <laughs> once he likes and, you. And and you he kind of grows on you. Once you get past the constant blaspheming where you're not certain of it. Is it real blaspheming? I mean, he's still getting expelled, so it can't be that bad. I mean, are we sure? Is he allowed to do that? Is he allowed to place himself on even footing with his god? <laughs> his coming was foretold. Uh, Ahmed likes monks. Just so much. Ahmed and Monk. Ahmed's like, if you can make a monk a paladin, it's the best. Yes. Although he had the opportunity to make a monk druid and he didn't, so maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe he's branching out. Okay, so you, you gather up some of the things in this uh, in this chamber. Uh, <clears throat> Alright. Uh, Where you loot yes. the box, basically, and you've already looted the, the desk. Um, yeah. Um, let's go, um, uh, let's go. Are we ready to go? Are you ready to go? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Keep, keep looking through the rest of the rooms, though. Uh, okay. Let's go take a peek in the storage cupboard. We should really dispose of these bodies. Lan, will your will your people come and do this work? They it would be a problem. We just need to send word to them. Okay, Hadrian nods. Bor Borth is growing impatient. He's already pacing by the door with his stuff. <laughs> Sorry if I move us all. Uh, ah, it doesn't work. Good. If people linger here for some time, I can go. I can go let them know and come back. Let us clear this place out first. Quite right. If I move us, yep. Go for it. Kruger uh, sniffing at the door and growling. Uh huh. Uh, -huh. uh detect magic on the door. Borth is actually moving to the entrance. Detect magic? Uh, no, there's just a kind of a wet, garbagey stain that's sort of dribbling down into the room. Uh, 
Paladin. Is there evil beyond that door? <sighs> sure, not a problem. He outstretches his hand. Um, well, I guess he doesn't even have to get. He, we are he, not evil. Yep, he concentrates for a bit. It uh, for a minute. No, there's no evil beyond the door. It's clear. What is uh, it, boy? Open Timmy's the door, man. inside. <laughs> The dog's growling and kind of whining at the door. Uh, perception check. Oh. Listening listening at the door. Sure. Uh, give, me a, give me a perception or... check as you're listening. Uh, plus eight. Adam, can you hit me with a roll? Yep. Okay. Twelve. It's quiet. Chuck. For a moment, you thought you heard some garbage shift. Um, while you're there standing at the edge of the door, there's a little bit more of the pussy ooze that's dribbling out like like a little wave of it kind of dribbled knowledge, out knowledge dungeoneering or knowledge religion on the oozy shit a knowledge religion on the oozy or, shit please tell me or, what the line of thinking there is is it some weird zombie detritus or uh, okay so you, you're like you're like is this is this blood from a the zombie. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Give me a. Knowledge. Okay. So, yeah. I, like knowledge or or, or or knowledge or craft or craft alchemy. Like I'm just like I'm looking at the goo. Okay. Um, knowledge. Dungeoneering. Eighteen. Religion. Fifteen. I really don't want to know what it is. Apparently, because okay. Know, well, the, the, the original forest. stuff was just garbage. Eighteen. Um, the actual like additional wave that is now bubbling amongst the stuff looks like digestive enzymes of an ooze. It's mildly acidic. That's very interesting. Um, there's a ooze beyond the door. What do you think? Hmm. The, the, the funny thing is that there are some ooze gods, Kenny, <laughs> like Ganador and Obox Ob and, you know, there's a bunch, there's a bunch in D&D. &D. Um, <laughs> Um, oh, there's another one. There's a there's a woman. Oh, I forget what her name is. There's a there's a, an ooze lich monster from 3.5 that was terrible, or is a lich just running around in the ooze? Yeah. <laughs> okay, the door is not locked, but it is it huh? is there is a latch like a wooden latch on your side. That's not. Is there any way that I could try to identify what type of ooze, or would I have to see it first? You have to see it. You you've identified yeah. you've identified the creature, and it's got mild acidic. Um, um, the acid <sighs> probably eats organic material, although yeah. you probably wouldn't want um, you know, bathe your weapons in it either. No, she fish on the Oh, Ned, you're t you're not muted. In case oh, sorry about that. Muted. There's no magic beyond that. Oh, it might be magic beyond that door. There might be a piece of lead surrounding it. Why would I? You know, this? <laughs> it will. It might be able to destroy your weapons, and it definitely will burn your skin. And there's a whole bunch of them out there. There's some that sort of pop when you hit them. There's some that just don't take. That get hurt. There's some shoot them with lightning. Funny things happen. There's all sorts of weird things. Um, it's one of them. Will light hurt such a thing? Says Icon. It also could be used to clean up the evidence of my murders. They were not murders. All Enemy right. combatants. Stop ah. using that word, says Adrian. You did nothing wrong. Get it through your thin skull. Icons, well, if light will not work, then the close proxy for light will, as he's taking out several torches out of his um, uh, his bag. He takes out three torches. So we could let it loose and see what it does.
They're usually stupid. Kruger comes back whining and is at uh, Elden's side. Similar to that of an insect? I mean a real insect, not like Princess Nina. Princess Nina is brilliant. She makes a giggle that only you can hear. Oh, we... Kill it. Uh, Icon Hadrian lights Icon's torches. He passes them out. He passes one to Icon. Passes uh, one to Phi if he wants it. Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, open the door. Ahmed, are you there? Yeah, I'm coming in like two minutes. <laughs> Just getting spoken at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Ahmed. <laughs> <Gee -hee. laughs> All right, we'll say Lan throws open the door, and there's something that's tumbling into him. Uh, <laughs> as, it, as it was, as it was right, it was right at the door. It is a giant gelatinous amoeba that just comes spilling out towards Lan. A bunch of garbage. It was like it was like pushed right up against the door. As he opens the door, the thing is on top of him. Um, it gets its, I guess, initiative. All Am right. Doing this again. It, it gets a five. It might have treasure. Or natural. I get a natural twenty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you roll for my two guys. All right. Uh, Hadrian gets a seven plus lots, and then uh, Eldon gets lots. And Hadrian or Lauren gets lots. All right, so everybody goes before it. Yeah. So who, who rolled that nineteen or the twenty? Uh, that was Phi. All right, Phi. What are you doing? You what can is now, it? You you can now identify it if you want. I would like to identify the monster. Eighteen. I roll shite. Uh, this blob of protoplasm is somewhat transparent, allowing the bones of undigested meals uh, and a dark nucleus to be seen within. It is a giant amoeba. Uh, it is an ooze. It's aquatic. Um, they can live in colonies. They will basically wrap around you and digest you. It just seems to be sliding right into Lan as Lan is, scr is scrambling back from the door. Uh, kill it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a dumb thing. <laughs> Got it. Yep. It is. It's like oversized life. <laughs> this thing probably would do would go to town on those bodies out there, and then pretty soon. Oh, that's have the, like that, a, that was that was what he was trying to convince people of before. You know, just you know. <laughs> right. All right. So <laughs> Fi's standing there. He's 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 saying, "Just kill it." You know, we we could just lead it over to it'll eat the you know circle of life. Lan, Ahmed, are you attacking it or not? Can I can I like jump out of the way? Yep. Yes, please. Retreat back into the room. Okay. Like the big room <laughs> he, with the bodies. He jumps out of the way and retreats into the room. Almost like Lan's seen these things before and is not afraid of them. <laughs> You're a big one, huh? Oh, can I? I guess I didn't say. All right, I didn't move. <laughs> Okay. All right, uh, I guess uh, Icon will follow suit and he'll move into the room with all the bodies. Yes, lead it towards the light and it's food. Hadrian looks at you like, is this, do we want to kill it or not? Uh, I th think Hadrian is more of a psh, kill the thing. <laughs> he fires his gun at it. <laughs> This is a big Bang. fucking target. It's a big balloon. Bang! He rolls a six and he hits the AC five flat footed <laughs> touch AC. <laughs> the flat footed touch AC is six on the thing. Four damage. All right. So the bullet goes into it and kind of goes right through it and glistens a little bit where the bullet hole 
was, but it, it's still undulating forward. Um, and he'll use his move action to reload. Otis is going to hobble out of the room. Someone help our Vashniel, he says. <laughs> As he double moves. <clears throat> Elden will grab him. Okay, Elden. Elden his dog. Move into the room with the bodies, leaving Hadrian, who's reloading his gun and Fi. Uh, who stood amoeba. around talking and like, everybody left, oh shit! <laughs> the amoeba comes tumbling out of garbage, and I'm just going to roll a d2 to see who it comes towards. How fast does the aquatic amoeba go? It moves at 10. Oh. Fi, man. Fie. Oh, yay! <laughs> the thing kind of undulates, you're like, oh, it's going towards Hadrian, no! A pseudopod... No. Like a uh, lot of glistening slime around its uh, around the the solid part of it, uh, uh, kind of wet, uh, wet splashes at your feet. Oh God! Please don't <laughs> hit me! I don't want to get grabbed. AC sixteen with a slam. <laughs> yeah, I have no spells running. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, it actually oh. hurt. Um, physical yeah. damage is three, and then the acid damage is one, and then the constriction. Around oh, your foot. Please, please grab first before constriction. Yeah, I've got grab. I know. I mean, like, like if yeah, the, yeah, yeah. If the CMD of seven. No, you put it right, no, you... a bit. <laughs> oh, barely. <laughs> <laughs> Nino saying, "Look out!" <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, all right, and then we begin the round again. Apparently, <laughs> they're not following Fi's plan. <laughs> what are you doing? Icon says. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fi is going to take a total defense action. Okay. And move away. Uh -huh. <sighs> Technically, it gets an AOO, so. Yes, it does. <laughs> AC 21. That hits again. <laughs> okay, it hits your foot again for four damage. Oh, God. And one more acid damage, and then it will attempt the uh, the to just get a hold of your foot. 21 on the CMD. Oh, God. <laughs> it just I'll just put myself the back there. <laughs> oh, 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 it, it, you, you got your foot out, but then it just kept on undulating forward and rolling over. So my CMD is 21, and then I take strength damage, and so my CDMD is 20. Oh, no. Okay, so the, thing, the thing's got a hold of you. It's got a hold of him! I'm assuming this sends land back in. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> first, first, Hadrian will five foot, five foot step back and fire his gun at it again. Kabang! He hits. Doing a damage. Okay, he didn't quite hit it in anything vital. It just went through the through some of the outer membrane. Um, weird uh, stringy things, and you like a dead rat inside. The creature is visible. Larn or Lan's long spear is immune to acid. Okay, Lan will will run into the room and. All right, get it. Uh, let's see if we can pierce it. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> it is funny. <laughs> AC-24. Yeah, he aims for the weird nucleus in the center. It's like a perfect bullseye. It makes this, like, like um, <laughs> eating fish egg kind of, like, pop when he when he sticks the... Uh, um, 14 magic damage. 14 damage. Uh, that causes the ooze to stop. Now, your foot's still in it, but it's not... It's kind of sliding off, so I'll... This is really, really embarrassing. But not the worst. At least I'm not murdering people. <laughs> right. Land and overhands. Oh, there's the, there's the people I killed. I can see through the doorway. <laughs> Land overhands the thing and he gives you a look like, why didn't you move away from it? I I was. I had a plan. And then I didn't do it. <laughs> it was really weird. Kate hey, Adrian, like you should get like And maybe it. him shooting it was what caused it to come this way. Maybe. Have Icon look at your foot. 
No, it was my fault. My fault, everyone. I, I, I should have been talking and walking at the same time. It is all right. Not all of us are soldiers. Let's look at your... Oh, my. It was hungry, wasn't it? Like a very good... pedicure. They are shiny. <laughs> he, he pulls. He shows his other foot. It's got like nail polish on the toes. <laughs> is that your bone? <laughs> your skin isn't supposed to be oozing and glistening like that. Is what he says. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, press digitate and try to get some of the. Oh, that off. hurt! Oh, that hurt. Ow. <laughs> oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. okay. Um, he will. He will cast a, a glowing spell that leaves suntan skin behind on your foot. <laughs> I got trucker tan. <laughs> all, on my yeah, big toe. All his, patch, his his healing spells leave suntan, um, so he will burn a first level spell. Let's see. For ten, I'm healed. Ah, there we go. All better. Yes. Are you feeling all right? He notices that you're that you're like red eyed and No. Not really. I didn't sleep well. I do have a scroll that we could use. Uh, oh. Um keep the scroll for an emergency. It You'll know it's bad when I have a hard time standing. Certain certain concoctions are harder on the body than others. It's particularly difficult when you try to see the future. Um, he you listens to you like like saying ridiculous things isn't beyond his experience. <laughs> He's been around people who've said ridiculous things before. He he just he just nods vacantly. <laughs> And that one really hurts. He's he's trying to describe a wisdom mutagen, wisdom cognatogen, that does my that does a con penalty. <laughs> he has no idea what you're talking about with alchemy. Or but is that just... one Dex? No, it's charisma. Try to meet a pretty girl. Hmm. Uh. All right, you are amongst all the bodies of the mongrel folk and the cultists that you slew. Intermixed with tiefling and dire sewer rat, uh, and then you can you can see Erixes still slumped over where he died. Both us is uh, some heavy things on Erixes that may be value, or that we may wish to return to his people. I don't know how important his armor is. Eldon wants to get the, um, the, the I think it was Bronze Dragon's uh, Claw. Yeah, he traded that in order for him to get his... Um, oh, he traded it, okay. Yep, it was it was a offering that his people made that kind of allowed him to become a <clears throat> crusader. Got it, got it. Let's collect some things from his corpse. Okay. Bortha continues the task that he was working on yesterday. He puts he puts Otis to work as they begin st continuing to strip the bodies of, of valuables and kind of stack them into piles. There may be too many things, like too much stuff for you guys to move. You may have to triage your, uh, your loot. Um, uh, if I is going to tiptoe through the bodies... Cast detect magic on this room. Okay. He's gonna go to the door and cast it through the door. And makes note that he should put lead in all of his walls. <laughs> um. There is. There's no magic. Elden. Hmm. Yep. Do you perceive evil through this door? 
I can. Okay. I don't need one. It, he doesn't bother like waiting for you to get out of the way when he does it. He just does it and 